Hi, Mark here from the Cloud 365 team. Welcome to the Microsoft 365 30 day challenge. If you want to know what the challenge is all about, keep listening. But before that, I need to talk about somebody who's actually going to be doing the challenge. And his name is Connor DC. And the reason we hired him, because he started for us a couple of weeks ago, and the reason we hired him is because I put a, paste, a post out onto Facebook saying, can somebody give me some advice on the best lighting to create a studio like I'm in now? This is actually a small room I'm in. And Connor gave me the best advice to get the lighting as best as I can because it's really hard to do lighting in a small space. And so we hired him to come along and help us do with videos and help us do the audio and help produce conferences that we all know that we do. And however, when he started with this, I can already see the potential in Connor. He's got some really, really uh, great knowledge around anything technical. He picks things up really, really easily. And so we've got talking on the team and we thought, actually, I bet Connor could do really, really well for us on conferences beyond being really good at production in helping out Microsoft 365 knowledge. Now, obviously we need on the team, we need Microsoft 365 knowledge for everything because everything we do is based around that particular uh, topic. And so what we've done is we thought, well, instead of just giving popping Connor on a training course or asking him to read a book, what we thought we'd do is actually share his journey. And the way we're doing it is we've got this 30 day challenge where Connor every single day is going to turn up and he's either going to share a blog post of what he did the previous day or he's going to create a short video. If it makes more sense for him to do that. Or it might be that we jump on a call with him and then we just record the call. And so the way we're going to do it just to make learning more structured Connor knows nothing about Microsoft 365 on day no, day nothing. So and on day 30, we're going to ask him to have built an entire application. Now that entire application is something that's very, very similar to Cloud 365 today site. And that site, what it does, it aggregates 350 blog posts from around the internet from people that talk about Microsoft 365 topics, so you know, like SharePoint Office 365. It will grab the XML feed it will bring them in and it will splice them into articles and put them into our database. And then on we have a website which shows those articles in the latest, uh, ordered by latest first. And then when somebody clicks on an article, we count the click and it goes to the website. We also email that out once, uh, once a day and also once a week. And so what we've asked Connor to do is we've kind of thought, well, that's all proprietary in WordPress and it's all code that's like hosted on our servers. We've challenged Connor to see if he can come up with a solution to build exactly that and actually a few more features on top inside of Microsoft 365. So this is going to see Connor learning Microsoft Forms. He's going to learn SharePoint, specifically SharePoint lists and SharePoint web parts and SharePoint pages. He's going to have to learn Power Automate. He's going to have to learn Power Apps. He's going to have to learn uh, Power BI. And so he's going to have to learn a whole range of, of technologies. And at the end of the 30 days, he's by no means going to be an expert. And I equate it to something like driving a car. Connor right now on day zero can't drive a car. So what we're going to try and do for each of the services is get Connor in that car, be able to steer, be able to put his foot down on the accelerator, be able to brake, be able to indicate. And then once you can do that, you get the confidence. And I'm sure you'll all agree, you get the confidence. I can drive a car. So actually... I'm happy. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the water in the car because I understand everything about the car because I've got comfort. I'm off and running. I can, I can self-serve myself. So we're going to try to get Connor able to drive the car in each of these little products and bring them all together in a giant application. So just to talk a little bit more about the end product, in Microsoft Forms, we're going to get him to create a form that allows a staff member to request a new feed to be added to our RSS aggregator. In Power Apps, he's, we're going to ask him to create an application so you can pull out your phone and look at the latest articles that the aggregators brought in. And when I click on an article on my phone, it adds uh, one to a counter so I can then see another view on my phone, which is actually these are the most popular articles in my organization. In, on top of that, he's going to need to know Microsoft, uh, sorry, Power Automate. Keep making that mistake. He's going to need to know Power Automate quite in depth because the Power Automate is the bit that's going to go off to the website that looks at the list, it'll go off to the website, grab the XML, bring it back, loop around it, and put it into another SharePoint list. He's, Power Automate is also going to have to have another flow, which every week, once, once a week, wakes up, 
gets the most popular articles out of the SharePoint list based on who clicked and then turn them into a nice looking email to send out to a distribution list for people that are using it in Teams. He's gonna have to create a SharePoint list that looks like almost like a news page. And what it'll do is it'll put the latest articles with a big featured image and headline at the top and then everything else will be below it. All the other articles will be layered below that. And then I'm gonna ask you to put that into a Microsoft Teams tab. So inside of his new Teams, to Teams channel, when we go there, we're gonna be able to see the latest articles for the company. So there's gonna be so much. The, the other thing we're gonna get him to do is, if somebody does request adding the new RSS feed to our company RSS, we want it to go through an approval work, workflow. So it gets approved because obviously you don't want everything added into your company's RSS feed. So this is a fictitious application, obviously, but if you follow along, you'll probably have a really good idea yourself, to be honest, how you build this. And the reason we're doing this, if this goes well, what we're thinking of doing is rearranging the content because it won't quite be in the best structured format, but we're thinking about rearranging it and turning it into a 30 day challenge that you guys and girls can come along and do it with us. And the idea being there is that we'll create a, a daily task for you to actually do the same thing as Connor did on his first day and then the same on the second day with a checklist of how to do it. So if it's a success and Connor makes it and current progress looks like he's going to because he's picking it up really fast, then you'll be able to follow along. And the way that Connor is learning, and this is also key for us and another reason for us doing it, the way Connor is learning is we've got tons of content now. We've done loads of summits. We've got a blog blog posts, hundreds of articles, we've got loads of videos, and we wanna know if our content's actually good enough to train somebody from complete newbie to Microsoft 365. And if it isn't, we're gonna get some content created, or we're gonna go off to micro jobs. And I already know, for example, as a whole, we don't have any introductory training for a SharePoint list and introductory for SharePoint per se at all that's up to date with the modern experience. So we're gonna ask Connor to go over to micro jobs and we're gonna say, Connor, here's some budget, go and hire a freelancer and share the journey of how what the, what you've learned from that person and then share how you use microjobs as well because we're really interested in, as a company how Connor, who knows nothing about microjobs either, how he uses that service and feeds back and Fraser's going to be watching him like a hawk so we can learn as much as possible about microjobs. So it's a fantastic experience for us as a company and I really do hope it's really, really good story and a great journey for you to follow along with Connor. If you do want to follow, then there's a button above my head uh, if you're on the website or there'll be somewhere in the comments below. There'll be ways to actually just follow his journey by popping your email address in. And then when Connor's got a good amount of uh, content for him to share, it might be the first seven days, for example, he'll send you a link out to those seven days. But if you want to keep popping back every day, we've got this beautiful looking timeline that's going to get bigger with all what Connor's doing on his journey. So get involved, and then if you do see Connor online, he is a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie, he's a little bit nervous because we've asked him to do quite a complicated thing within 30 days. So give him some support, give him some likes, if he, and he'll appreciate it forever. So really hope you find this challenge useful, and keep your ears peeled because if this goes well, we'll be asking you to come along and do it in the future. So that's all from me, and bye.